Okay, here's the uh, foundation. It's pretty level. At least I got it squared up. That's about the best I can do on such a sloping yard. I think it'll be okay once I get the bricks settled. The roof will be level. Okay, well I've got the coop part framed in. It's mostly level, as you can see. This is supposed to be a 6x12, but I wanted to use this old bed frame that I had made years ago. It's probably about 10 years old, but it's still solid, so I didn't want it to go to waste. And here's a backup view of the whole thing so far with some of the posts for the roofs getting started. Okay, here's the floor. I put it in so the nesting box could hang out and have some support. I also finished up the beams and started the crossbeam for the roof rafters. I'm not too happy with this pitch. It seems a little too extreme with, for me. So I'm going to uh, adjust that down a little bit, I think. Got a nice fit for the floor on this side, but I sort of messed up my cut here. So I'm gonna have a little bit of a gap and I don't think that's going to be a big deal. I can probably fill it in with some wood glue. But I'm going to put linoleum over the whole thing anyway. So I don't think it's going to matter. So this is how I'm doing the roof. I just toenailed the rafters. And put spacers in between them. I found this to be probably the quickest and the easiest with the most support so that's how I'm gonna do it the rest of the way updating the progress on the roof rafters and the cross slats are one by threes and there's five rows of those which I'm going to nail the tin roof to. Everything turned out pretty good. It's a little uneven here in the back but within the margin of error I put a panel of the roofing on to make sure it would have a little bit of overhang right here as well as on the front. That way it won't drip in onto the wood. I thought that would be a good idea. I also wanted to have a little extra overhang over the nest box area so they won't, but I get pretty good uh, coverage here. So it's pretty much straight down. No cross winds are gonna blow too much rain up. And these, uh, one by threes will be trimmed down depending on how much of the roof overhangs. That way I won't have to cut any of the aluminum roofing because I imagine that's difficult to cut and I don't think I have a saw or anything that could actually do that. Give you a backup view of the whole thing as it's coming together. Now I'm going to stain all the rafters and cross beams before I put the roof up. That way everything on top will have a nice coating of stain as well. Alright, well I have the roof up. Got it all stained on the underside. 
and now I'm starting the nesting box framing it in and I'm gonna have a window right here a door in the front and a door on this back wall, uh, window right back here right above the entrance and the ramp that will go down okay well here is the next nesting box I really wasn't sure how to do it and the wood I used kept splitting with the nail gun and so that really slowed things down no matter which way I came at it that wood just kept splitting it was pretty soft wood and it was kind of cheap as well but it'll work it'll be a lot more solid once I put the siding on well I started putting the siding on and then it occurred to me that I probably want to put the screen on first that way the siding can overhang it and kind of tuck in that part right there I certainly don't want that on the top of the siding either so I'll probably do the same thing on the back or I might just bring it right up to here and leave it all right well I'm sort of unhappy with the way this looks stapled together so I went ahead and I cut these one by four slats and I put a double coating on the back front side single on the back and they fit right up over that 2x4 and so that's my plan to cover up that wire meshing maybe make it a little bit more secure too and there's no way to clamp it because of the wire so I just pushing down really hard and pulling the trigger another thing I did was put a 2x4 in there because this door was too tall so in order to use this door I had to put that in as well also it does a good job tucking in that extra screen that way it'll never get snagged on anything all right well it's been raining off and on I've managed to get this window in and finish up the siding on the nesting box for this window all I did was cut a square and I stapled the screen on and then nailed the frame over the top of it I may throw a little caulk right up under there or I may not now I need to work on that door right there I finished a lot of screening on the bottom but here it is you can hear it starting to rain again and the clouds look a little darker so I might just be done for the day really trying to get this finished up this weekend I'll show you how I'm making my door I just took these one by four slats and ripped them down the middle with the table saw and just one side at the time I'm clamping them on gluing them and nailing them and then this 
last piece I had to cut just a little bit more to make sure it would fit and once I clamp that down of course it'll be pretty flat and won't be all warped I'm also going to put a two diagonals going from corner to corner I went ahead and got the hinges on nothing special just a little bolt latch one on the bottom as well I decided to put one of these I don't really like it a regular hook, hook latch probably would have been better but whatever I bought it so may as well use it and I wanted to show you what I was doing on the inside wall here this is going to be the entrance on this piece right here I couldn't get my big nail gone in so I just put the brad nails in but it is really solid I had to pound it in there to get it to fit and what they say all carpenters make mistakes and the good ones know how to hide them I went ahead and cut a little piece there so I wouldn't have such a huge gap when I messed up my cut in the beginning I don't know if you can see this or not but I filled that crack with wood glue as well as all around the edge it's officially a coop now with the fourth wall up there's my door there's my window slash indoor outdoor perch I have that so the birds can sit up on there and as a perch during the day and maybe even at night I also went ahead and closed off the nest box as I will not be using that for a while and I still have to work on the roof of that nest box I got to get a hinge and there's some more work that has to be done there but other than that get some pine shavings in there build a ramp and I'll be done I'll show you the finished product as you can see the chickens are in there making themselves at home I put the roosts in just two of them for now nest box and John and all the trim and there you go I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned a few things along the way thanks for watching